how to use Facebook ads library to find and track ads and find winning products. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to actually go ahead and access Facebook ads library. Uh, in this library, uh, Facebook, Facebook is going to provide you with all the ads that are related to Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Uh, and I was going to just show you a little bit of details about them. You can see the ad, you can see, uh, when it was uploaded the date and you can just you know see a few and bits of information about that and you can use it to track and do your research about the ads that you want or the products that you want to uh, do research about so let's actually get started and talk about how to get started okay so uh, or how to actually access it so, so basically you need to go ahead and open up your uh, browser and then from here, you'll just need to go to the URL section and just type in Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash ads slash library, as you can see uh, in front of you. And you just hit enter and you should be taken to the actual website. Now it is free to use and anyone can use it even without logging into Facebook. So that's kind of nice. And you can see here, ad library. Uh, search all the ads currently running across meta technologies as well as ads about social uh, issues, electronics, or politics that have been running in the past seven years, uh, unless it's from the EU. If it's from the EU, then ads that have run anywhere in the EU in the past year is going to be shown. Before that, I don't think it's going to be available. Uh, to find an ad, search for keywords or an advertiser. So it's as simple as that really so you'll need to go and navigate to this section which is search ads uh, and in here you've got two options first is set up the country that you want to see the ads for uh, and this is actually going to change uh, the ads that you will see so if you for example select a specific um, advertiser and you select a specific country then sometimes it's going to show less results rather than, you know, if you select all. So for example, if you want to specify it, you can just keep it at United Arab Emirates for the time being. And then we just go to the other other uh, category here and just click on it and make sure we select all ads. Now we can actually do a few things. We can either search for a keyword, which is just going to be a general search about the specific product that you want or specific element that you want or we can actually search for an advertiser. So both are going to work uh, kind of similarly. So for example, if it's an advertiser, uh, like for example, this this uh, company here, Digital Trends, I just found them. Uh, you can go to their website, for example, and um, like, you know, find their Facebook page. And from here, what you will need to do uh, to track them, let's say, for example, this is the company that you want to track. Basically, just copy their name exactly how it is. So we can just, you know, go ahead and copy it. And we just go back to our library here. So what we need to do is just paste the name of the page in here. So digital trends, we can just paste it in here and it's going to show us uh, the advertisers and so on. So right away, we can actually go ahead and find them in here. So it's the first result, as you can see. Uh, so we can just go ahead and click on them. And in here, you see that there, there is no ads that match our criteria. Why? This is because I actually have it as United Arab Emirates. This is what I mean by uh, the actual country does affect the results that you will be getting. So let's actually go ahead and do it again. Just make sure that the country is different. So we can just go back. Uh, go ahead and set this to be either a different country. You can search in here. Or we can just go ahead and select all, which I recommend. So after you select all, you can just go ahead and uh, select the all ads again. And we can just go ahead and search for them again. So digital trends. And we just click on them. And now this should actually change and we actually have a few results. Now some companies will have more ads running. Uh, this specific company, digital trends, has nine ads currently running. And you can see them all over here. Uh, now, what you can see about them is the uh, library ID, which you can skip. Uh, you can see either if the ad is actually active or inactive is actually going to show you. Let me see if there's any inactive. Okay, so there's none. Okay, so 
but it's going to show you either it's active or not. You can see the platforms that you're, you're they are using on, so Messenger, Instagram, uh, Audience Network, and Facebook. Uh, and also, you can see that this ad uses multiple versions. So what you can actually do is we can click on See Ad Details. And in here, this is pretty much the information that you will be getting from the ads library. You will have the information about the company itself. And from the ad, you can actually see the ad. Uh, you can see the date. So you can see if, if, for example, they have been doing ads since a long time, that means, you know, it's more likely that they're actually succeeding in what they're doing. It's not going to show you more detailed stats like uh, how much they're earning and so on. So you don't really get everything within the Facebook um, uh, ads library. It's just going to show you some information, actually show you the ad itself, and you can click on learn more. And it's actually going to take you there to the page so you can actually see the ad in more uh, detail. Same goes for the rest of the ads that they have in here. So we can go for this one, for example, we can just click on see ad details and it's going to show you exactly what you want to see. And we can just click on learn more. It's going to take us to the actual page about the ad. So that's uh, how to go ahead and track uh, the advertisers, adv advertisers, I can't speak English today. So this is pretty much how to track them and see how they are doing. Same goes for keywords. So if we just go back to the ads library here, we can go and select whichever country we want. I'm just going to select all. And we can just go ahead and select all ads. And we can do something else now. Instead of a advertiser, we can actually go ahead and search for a specific keyword. So, for example, we can just do gaming uh, laptop for for the sake of this video example, and it's actually going to show us plenty of results. As you can see, fourteen thousand results about this uh, specific keyword. Now you can see the company. You can see the uh, the those are sponsored. So we can actually scroll down and see other uh, companies as well. So you can, you know, just keep scrolling and you will see a lot of ads and you can see which ones are succeeding or not based off of, you know, their company and how they're doing. For example, this one, we can actually go ahead and click on see summary details It's going to show you all about it. So actually, no, not this one. Let me go ahead and click on this one. So add details is going to tell us about the advertiser. So we can actually go ahead now and track them by just entering their name. And this is going to show us all about them and all that they are posting. So we can see now stuff like uh, the We can see the video and you can see uh, other stuff here as well. Uh, as well. And that's pretty much how to uh, track the ads using Facebook ads library. Now, again, it's not going to show you every single information that you would want to see like how much they're getting out of it and so on, the sales and all of that. Uh, but it's going to show you like, the, you know, some some elements to it, like how the date they're using and how many ads they are running. And you can, you know, just based off of that, see whether they are doing great or not, and maybe even learn how they are, you know, advertising their ads, uh, what they're doing to make sure that it, you know, it explodes. So that's pretty much how to use um, the Facebook ads library. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.